So, what are my plans for Zillica long term and what else have they brought out? So if you're new to the channel, please do say hello. Obviously, the most important thing as well is subscribe, bell button, like, and comment. I want to apologize for one thing. The comment section is absolutely savage by scammers, bots. So please be careful. Please do obviously comment, flood them out, get rid of them. But the most important thing, obviously, don't click on any links, whatever. So yeah, let's talk about Zilliqa. Very, very successful staking launch i'll talk about that in a minute and i'll show you how you can stake as well it really is simple i cannot believe how simple it actually was probably the most simplest i've ever used apart from the one on tezos because that's on the ledger ledger live press button off you go but this was pretty much just as easy so let's talk about it um really really happy like in terms of the rates, in terms of the tokenomics, in terms of how it works as an application, very, very good. But the one thing that is obviously very important here, this is a longer term hold. Now get over and talk about what my plan is for this over the long term, because I do feel very, very bullish and I'm very, very humble to be accepted into the Zillica community as a holder, because often investments are based off opinion. And it's something that I've rated for a long time, bought in well, quite, quite a while ago now. And yeah, I've just been enjoying the ride. It's been really, really good to see a really, really good asset develop nicely. So one thing with that, obviously, the world of transactions and stuff like that, it is obviously going to increase over time as it gets more demand, as it gets more popular, more renowned for what it's doing in terms of staking, you know, enterprise solutions, most importantly as well, the, the Zillica swap, which is obviously brand new as well. So give it time to get some liquidity on there. Give it time to obviously get more and more assets on there. And when the Ethereum bridge is out, more unlikely to see more and more people using it to trade the ERC-20s, which is, as we all know, for convenience, the most popular chain at the moment. So with that being said, patience is key. More news that has came out, which is obviously very, very good, is, you know, the ability to use Zillica as a currency on Traveller, which is quite a very, you know, it's a very, very renowned. If you've never heard of it, you should probably open your horizons a little bit. This is quite a popular website for, you know, travel. If you've never heard of it or seen it, go and check it out. It's been around for quite a while now. It's, it's a place where you can use fiat, but most importantly, it's very, very cryptocurrency friendly designed for like hotels, activities, and most importantly, air, air travel. So the ability to, to integrate and use your Zillica very, very soon will be very, very cool, especially if you are getting staking rewards, which is obviously passive income essentially, and it is a very, very good little source of income if you are looking to hold long-term and you are using it to maintain that network. Another thing that is dropped as well is social staking. The ability to tweet and talk and stuff like that, and you can obviously earn Zillica for doing that, which is kind of cool. Obviously, it's within the same mechanism. It's very, very new. Um, I've not actually used it yet. I do need to figure it out and go through it. But ultimately, this is a new one, social pay. You know, why not use social media? Why not use, you know, very, very easy solutions to send money and to be able to reward people like the Brave browser? It is in a similar sort of ilk, so it's pretty damn decent. But the main topic I want to talk about is obviously staking. 1 billion was staked in the first few hours. It's been an absolutely whirlwind in sort of ride. At one point, Binance actually had to stop their withdrawals because it was getting pretty carnage. Um, so a billion have been staked in the first few hours as bracing staking rewards, governance token, and a new DEX. So they are massively huge things. Now, in terms of the governance token, GZIL, it allows you as a holder, as a staker, to vote on the network. You get those as you stake. You do not... Like like the old school systems where, say for example, staking on any other legacy blockchain back in the day, the amount that you could stake was the amount, say, that you'd get. So if you had a huge chunk, you'd get a huge percentage of that. Doesn't work like that with Zillica. Basically, everyone's on a level playing field. Yes, the more you stake, the more GZILs you'll get, but everyone has a level say. The, the, the fundamental drawdown of the, the original legacy blockchain was a whale could come in and take 30% of the staking power. That is not good, obviously. So with that in mind, it is much different. But yeah, 1 billion in the last few hours is pretty good. We'll have a look at the stats in a minute. But in terms of that, 
you know, the fact that the circulating supply is only 10.5 billion, showing already there's quite a good little chunk. And the way that the tokenomics do work, if you've never heard of the, their new tokenomics, is the more that's staked in terms of percentage, the less you'll earn. But ultimately, it allows the, you know, the ability that more and more holders, which would obviously make the price more stable, and ultimately it will rise over time if more people are holding the token and not selling it, trading it, or basically doing whatever the hell they want with it, essentially. So having it all locked up, generating and generating, it's gonna be very, very stable and secure for the network as well. So overall, pretty damn decent. We're currently at 1.3 billion. I'll give it a little refresh. I don't know how often this uh, updates, maybe every 24 hours, but obviously most important thing is you know, this is only going to run for about one to two years in terms of the GZIL in, get, in terms of getting that liquidity to get that token to you. But overall, so far, we're at 51%. As I said, that number will go down the more that is staked. So it's a double-edged sword, really. The less at stake, the more you earn. But ultimately, the more that's staked, the more the price will most likely go up over time. You know, scarcity and all that. But yeah, pretty damn good. The one that I stake with is Zilacracy. Um, they're a community-based company. Um, you know, they've got the most, they're quite popular. They're very, very well known. It's also very, very good rates as well. So pretty damn happy with that. And honestly, I cannot say how easy it was. It was super easy. All you need to do, if you use Zilpay, easy. If you use Ledger, easy. If you've got a key store, a bit more, not the greatest idea in the world to do that. I wouldn't recommend it, but very, very easy. In terms of the Ledger, you literally just hook it up, go to your app, it syncs all your wallets up and boom, just send it. Easy. I've never seen anything so simple in my life, apart from obviously the Ledger one on Tezos, which is crazy easy. But let's talk about what my plan is for Zilliqa long term. Now, obviously people will want to talk about prices and stuff like that. I'm not going to reveal my end goal to start taking profits. Obviously, I will take profits. It's an investment. I'm not going to just sit on my bags forever. There's too many people in the crypto space that just sit on their bags and watch it go from zero to 100 and then back down to zero again. That's just stupid. Um, ultimately, for me, it is a long-term haul because I believe in the priorities. I've always said and maintained this will take little chunks out of Ethereum because it is way better. If you've seen my tweet yesterday regarding the, the fees, I think it opened people's eyes a little bit. If if I go quickly, let me just go to my Twitter because I think this tweet alone actually opened people's eyes. Um, let me find it. Let me find this one here. So I literally put that out and that was just a one transfer. What? Two, two cents, not even one zil to send that amount of money. As I said, on that tweet, if you try and send something from Ethereum of that amount, you're probably looking about 20 to 30 dollars to send that amount, probably very, very easily. Scary, realistically, when you think about it. So, a lot of people do ask about you know price levels and stuff, but as I've just alluded to, I rate this more than Ethereum for use case. The problem that we've got with Zilliqa versus Ethereum, Ethereum's got a three to four year head start versus it. It's one of those things, they've got that prestige you've got the convenience as i like to call it erc20 tokens are very very easy to use adopt and obviously trade on the likes of uniswap and other platforms so Zilliqa doesn't have that yet give it time if something's as fast as Zilliqa, if something is secure if something is is you know is cheap to use the rewards are good with staking they've got a, a, a dex as well they've got social pay you can use it as a currency they're all ticking boxes Enterprise solutions, companies can build on this, like big companies. There's already some big companies already on this. There's a big gaming platform and there's also unstoppable domain. So it's looking good. But I always know and I always see this as well. If I quickly go into coin market cap and if I put in Zilliqa, I know what people always say in the comments, but the price is low, but the price is this. Honestly, to the people that invested in cryptocurrency back in back in the world, we're currently at daily levels right now. If you think logically, right, and I'm gonna say this, I'm, I don't wanna insult people. This is not a quick rich method of getting any sort of gain. It's all about identifying projects that are good over time before the whole entire herd gets there. In my opinion, Zilliqa is tiny compared to what Ethereum was back in the day. When you think Ethereum was once 14, $15, you could be looking at, you were literally investing in Zilliqa at roughly what Ethereum was back in those days, given the, the supply differences. What would happen if Zilliqa went to a dollar from here? 
and you were then going, oh my God, I wish I bought at two cents. You'd be kicking yourself. It's all about identifying what looks good and what could grow in the long term. It's not about has it already grown in the long term? No, you've missed your opportunity. You gotta find them before they've developed everything, before the whole entire array of tokens are on Zillow, for example, before there's multiple companies using Zillica's chain, before you know 80% of the supply is staking, for example. You know, that is the whole idea of investing. You've got to find companies or DAOs or whatever low and then profit high. Or Profit a little bit high, keep some for the long term. Who knows where it could go? You got to think five, 10, 15, 20 years. Look at this as like Amazon, like Microsoft, the starting point. It is risky, yes. But if you buy low, what 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 is a risk there unless you are buying at like stupid levels? If you're buying Zillica and you've seen this video in the future and it's like one dollar, I'm afraid you've bought at a very, very high level and people like us who have done this video, watched this video, commented on this video, I've probably made a chunk of money out of that. But my plan is to hold. I'm a holder. I've always been an investor. I'm thinking 2021, 2022 is going to be very, very good for the crypto market. With all the FUD, with all the regulation, the top coins will rise to the top, especially ones that have got their own chain, especially when they've got their own stake and when they've got their own companies building on it. Ultimately, it all matters. When you get rubbish copy coins and rubbish ones on the ERC20 chains and the food scams, obviously they're not gonna, but stuff like this will. And if you're looking at the analysis here, in my opinion, nice little correction by the rumor sell the news sort of thing, but it's still in a bit of a, from, from this point here, still in a bit of a bull trend. From this point here, we've went up, we've retraced, still forming little levels, but as I say, price doesn't matter because what's gonna happen for me, every 24 hours I'm gonna get paid. I want to get more Zill every single day, every day. Zill, Zill, Zill. What's it going to do? It's going to add to my holdings and I can just wait and chill out. And if it goes low enough, I'll buy more. I'll invest more. The whole market will go up at some point. It's a given, in my opinion. The crypto market is very small. Pick your winners, stick with your winners, and ride them. Let's roll